haven't done anything criminal, sir. I've only been doing protected activities here. What's that? I've only been doing protected activities. Protected activities? Yes, sir. I'm taking pictures of the PowerPoint here. What's available to my eyes in public? Yes, sir. What are you doing here? I did inform you what I was doing. Yes, sir. Why are you? Are you going to be a problem? I'm not being any problem. I'm out of the roadway. I'm over here in the public access area, pedestrian right away. What are we doing? Private property. They don't want you there anymore. Okay. I was informed that it was government property, it's and that it's property. private property. No, it's not. So I'm hard to be friendly with you. I understand you're friendly with me here. I'm just complaining to you. So did you swear an oath to protect my rights, or I will remove you? I I don't understand what your what your what your issue is. Why you're making threats to me here today? So you failed to identify yourself, but you did threaten uh, incarceration. The video is on because this guy's so just gonna hang out here. Yeah, and we got all these passerbys, all sorts of witnesses that nothing violent's happened. Is that your bike over there? What's your problem? So, so we have an abandoned bike over there. We're just trying to find out who the owner is. I have nothing to do with that bike. Got nothing to do. Right. Why is he just chilling back here? I'm just taking a break from the gym. Taking a break from the gym? Yeah. Is there a problem? No, no, no I, I, don't, I don't have any problem. Oh. Uh, what's up? I recognize you. You were over at the power station a couple weeks ago trying to give me grief over there. No, I'm trying to give uh, you any grief. He was making an attempt to be an auditor over there. Oh, all right. I never did catch his name. You got a good, a good channel we can check out? Yeah. Um, Am I suspected of a crime? Huh? Am I suspected of a crime at this point? I didn't even say that. I asked if you got a good channel we can check out. It's a social contact, bud. Yeah. Yeah, you aren't detained, you aren't arrested. We're just wondering, kind of like, what's up? Are you okay? Do you live around here? Am I just being detained? No, I already no. told you you aren't being detained. Why do you keep doing that? I'm asking if you're okay. I'd rather not answer any questions. All right. Once again, it's just a yeah. well, like we're doing a welfare check on you. We want to make sure you're all right. A little odd that you're just kind of chilling back here. We want to make sure you're okay. So Seems like you're being duplicitous at this point because first you contacted me about a bicycle, which I have had nothing to do with, and I don't understand. Okay, and 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 you've 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 mentioned some previous contact that we that we've had, which you know I I'm recording for my own protection. Are you are y'all's video any audio recordings on at this point? Can you help some stuff like me on our end? I got resources for you. This interaction clearly irritated the deputy, so much so that he recognizes this man in a separate encounter. Notice Deputy Welch's demeanor towards this auditor and how he refers to their previous encounter as a hard time. In reality, knowing your rights is not giving anyone a hard time. The deputy probably dislikes the fact that he was trying to intimidate the auditor and it didn't work. Maybe if the deputy spent more time learning the laws and rights of the people, instead of doing his best James Hetfield impression, he would be a better service to the community. He swore an oath to protect. We all know by now, though, that police have no intentions of coming to an understanding. It's either their way or the highway and it couldn't be more evident in the thousands of videos shared to the internet on a daily basis. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.